Buenos dias. We got our negative PCR test, so we are ready to cross into Nicaragua tomorrow. And headed right to the camp spot, Somoto Canyon, which is supposed to be a really thin, tall wall canyon. You can do cliff jumping, you can swim downstream or tube it. You're gonna be sick. Can't wait to see the next adventures. I'm excited for Nicaragua. But right now, one last thing in Honduras. I'm gonna get another baleada by the skate park. Baleada. That is something I would not have seen if I didn't BMX. My favorite baleada so far, right by the skate park. Mm. Damn so it. good. You know, people might say third world country, whatever, but look at all these businesses. We're not in Dallas airport. We're in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. You got. Pizza Hut, you got Burger King, you got Denny's. Denny's, Popeyes. Does that look like a third world country to you? Because I'm telling you something, there's only one world. So gas here is about 350 a gallon in Honduras. This is Ireland. And we got a routine pretty much when we fill up gas it's time to dump the litter and the garbage. It works pretty smoothly that way. Teamwork, I gotta watch this guy. Make sure he doesn't overfill the tank because that's why our evaporative system's not doing well. They love to do that on the Pan American Highway. Just keep adding more and more and more gas. Get a couple extra cents out of everybody. Understandable. We got two baleadas here. We got Just Bean from a vegetarian here. And here I got the 26, ordered it by the number. Hey, birthday. Ordered it by the price, rather. And uh, this one's gonna have egg. The, the egg already had cooked in it. Ham and chorizo. And, uh, Whoa. Yeah, but the tortillas are the best part. You can see here, the tortilla is pretty, you know, it's like a little bit doughy still. And this... it's, it's made out of flour instead of corn, We're like, the tortillas that we've been seeing for the past uh, four months. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not sure exactly how they eat it, so I'm gonna just re-roll it as a burrito because this makes sense. <laughs> why? Why does it come like this? I, I kind of like it. It looks like a crepey. I don't know. Yeah. Wasn't able to spy on anybody in there. See how they were eating it. My my um, way to do it is mm. to rip pieces off. I think that really works out well for me. Danny's just attacking me. Yeah, well. <laughs> I highly recommend these baleadas. The bean one is so good. If you come to Tegucigalpa, this is by the skate park. It's Kennedy Skate Park, right right near there on the main street. I love these baleadas. Yes, baleadas. <laughs> and this place, they just got an assembly line. Only baleadas, all day. So good. <laughs> so I was talking with the guy who brought the water out. It was really interesting. Uh, he saw the picture of Seattle I have there that I took uh, from an airplane when my buddy was flying, Cameron, and he said, that's Seattle. I was like, how'd you know? And he said, well, I went there. I have an uncle there. And I said, no way. You went to the U.S.? He said, yeah, I went with a coyote. You know, you went illegally to the U.S.? He went to New York with the coyote. But then he went to visit his uncle in Seattle when he had not been in the country long. And unfortunately, there was a sting by migration. They caught him. They sent him back to Honduras pretty wild. He said it costs a lot, you know, to do the coyote thing. But now he's got a good job here working at the water plant. He's, he's happy staying here now. Just thought it was a wild story. Well, we're trying to burn through the rest of these lempiras. So I got a street dog for a dollar. 25 lempiras. Emily got this pretty good. Blackberry popsicle paleta. There you go. De Michoacana. Buen provecho, my babies. So today, crossing the Nicaragua border, off to a good start. We already got the coffee drank and cleaned, and obviously I gotta redo my hair. Gonna be sad to leave Honduras. This felt like the most adventurous country yet since nobody comes here. But we're really looking forward to Nicaragua. 
So just like the Honduras border, Nicaragua requires a pre-check. I'll link to it in the description. You have to fill it out online seven days before entering and they will send a confirmation. When you get the confirmation, you have to send back your COVID test 24 hours before crossing the border. We have heard of friends skipping this step and having to wait hours and even overnight at the border. So definitely don't skip this step. This was also going on before COVID. Even if Nicaragua doesn't have to require a negative COVID test to cross the border, you probably still have to fill out a pre-check. So just make sure you research and figure out everything you have to do before you cross any borders. Hola. Vamos a Nicaragua. Sí. Aquí están los pasaportes. Oh, uh, Honduras, sí, estuvimos en Tegucigalpa y Lago Yohoa. Vamos para el sur, poco a poco. Los documentos de la mascota lo han. Sí. So the two police officers pulled us over and they checked our TIP, the pet paperwork, Danny's license, the passports. That's where we're going. They looked in the trunk and they looked in the side door. Off to a good start. So, he wants us to do the animal paperwork. We're hoping we might not have to. Parking on the other side of this gate at least, making progress. And these people are the animal people. Here we go. So, even though the pet paperwork said only valid for a day, they didn't say anything about that. We got the stamp we need. Now we're going to migration. We're still on Honduras side. Folks are chatty. That guy said he saw the van last night where we parked up. <laughs> so here's the immigration and customs building. Corona times, we gotta go to the sanitary <clears throat> booth, show them our test, get the temp taken. First step. So we did the migration back there. Got an exit stamp, Honduras. over to Nicaragua we got stamped out we canceled the TIP and then we canceled the TIP and now we're going to Nicaragua so we stopped at the entrance to Nicaragua gave them a bunch of papers they're just checking we have everything and then we're gonna go to the health what do we give them we give them our passport our a copy of our title and registration we gave them um, a copy of our COVID tests real-time COVID tests Okay. So yeah, she gave us this customs declaration. It's the stamp on the back. We're gonna fill this out. But the process she described is first, go to the nurse, do the COVID stuff. Then we're gonna migration. Then we do the animal stuff, uh, which is at a pink window up here. And then after that, the TIP. Well, please go well. Mm. Been fumigated with these wild equipments. Should've got it on video. First stop, sanitary. Good. He's from the Aduana, the customs. So I guess that was the inspection of the van. Gonna hit the bathroom and then migration, Ipsa for the animals, and Aduana with the form that he just finished. Tons of lines in here, but a guy just came out and took our stuff without us even getting in a line. It was pretty nice. It's the migration coming in to Nicaragua. This is the insurance guy, $12 title and license. Now we're at the payment booth here, giving more info, gonna get the receipt, pay $26, 13 each. So, now we're gonna go do the pet paperwork over here with Ipsa. So now we're doing the pet paperwork, gotta bring these animals out here. Look at me, some goods are not so good. Quite the process, every border crossing. Yeah. So we'll probably be in here at least a month. Depends how long it takes Costa to open. 
so got the animal paperwork now we just got one more stop aduana where we'll do a few things but mainly get the permit for the vehicle almost there Woo. <laughs> we had to stop for some lunch pb and j grammy needed to take a nap after being looked at <laughs> we're only three hours in at this point This is the aduana. The paperwork for the vehicle, which will only last 30 days, but we can get an extension in Managua at the DGA agency. So I gave her the original title of registration, my original license, passport, some forms they gave us earlier. The customs declaration was one of them. A receipt from migration. But that's it. So now we got our TIP, some papers. We can head to the border. Finally gets organized here. <laughs> We're good to go. So we made some last second copies of the paperwork we got. Just in case. Somebody's excited. Here we go. Yay. Welcome to Nicaragua. Wow. So we're in Nicaragua now. Relax again. I'm sure there'll be some checkpoints or whatever, but oh, what do you think about that, Emily? I'm so glad we're in. Good job. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the main thing I was worried about today was that you're not allowed to bring drones into Nicaragua and they'll confiscate your drone. Nobody ever even asked if I had a drone. In Nicaragua, nobody even stepped inside the vehicle. I opened the side door from the kitchen side and he just said, okay, cool. So, big success today, even though it took about three and a half hours. First stop in Nicaragua is some fruits and veggies. We usually get rid of all of our fruits and veggies whenever we cross a border. In Canada, we had all of them taken away from us. So whenever we first get to any country, we have to find a market, which is also one of our most favorite things to do. So no big deal. Oh, here's our first shopping trip. The beers were about $4 a six pack. So this is the local rum and then these were like, uh, I think they were almost a dollar for three. Yeah, yeah, like a dollar for all those. These were 10 quarter so like 30 cents for those, 30 cents, 30 cents. You know, pretty, pretty good prices. This is about 30 cents too. And they don't have like jalapenos, but they have these dried ones, which are super spicy. We gotta let them try one. Into the fridge. We just grabbed some local food at a street fair. I had gallo pinto, which is rice and beans cooked together, my favorite. Tahadas, which are plantain chips and some cabbage salad. And Danny had the same, but with some pork. We splurged, got a couple ice cream sandwiches for a dollar. That meal, by the way, two huge plates of food was uh, $3 for both of us. $3 total. <laughs> We're all set up here. Our first night, there's a river right down there. And the canyon is just around the corner. We could walk to it or we can just relax. Maybe relax. <laughs> it's great. Dog gets to play. Open the doors, get some breeze. Cat can play. You like to dress. dog toy out of the remainder <laughs> but if it gets cold she can always fashion them back in pants <laughs> <laughs> much like Michael Scott <laughs> with no Dwight looking out for her in this scenario I'm Dwight yeah, and oh, I need no. a Dwight <laughs> <laughs> drinking the Nicaraguan beer and this cat over here is just 
having some pets. So we looked back and there was a zillion little itty bitty bugs flying around the lights we had back here. And I saw on Instagram one time, if you just put a light next to your exhaust fan, and they'll get sucked out of the exhaust. So far it's pretty, it's working pretty well, I think. Of course there's some buggies. I think they're all gonna go to the light soon and get sipped out. Yeah, they're getting closer and closer. And these guys are small enough that they fit through the vents and that's how they got in. So that's how they should be able to get out, I assume. Scary. If nothing else, we can see them. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching our border crossing video. See you next time when we explore Samoto Canyon.